I got a phone call from a deputy who was at tears and wanting to meet with me. He showed me a video from his body cam footage that was sickening, uh, disturbing, and just outright almost unbelievable. When y'all take the cuffs off of him, when he turn around, stick that tape to his head. Our job is not to punish people. What was done at that jail house was done to torture him and to punish him for his actions. If he turn around, pop him to Give what he asked for. No man asked to lay on the jail floor naked on his stomach and be tased for no reason. A major development tonight in our lost trust investigation into Marlboro County, South Carolina. A year and a half ago, South Carolina Attorney General's Office swooped in and indicted the sheriff and a former deputy over a May 2020 jailhouse tasing. But that video was lost and it resurfaced during our investigation into the sheriff's office. Now, 19 months after his indictment, the Marlboro County Sheriff is headed to trial. Chief Investigator Jody Barr joins us now. And Jody, you spent uh, a year in Marlboro County uh, uncovering these allegations of civil rights abuses and corruption, and the first prosecution is now just going to happen soon. Brian, it is, and the South Carolina Attorney General's Office tells me former Sheriff Charles Lemon will stand trial September 5th in Marlboro County. Lemon was indicted back in December 2021, but nothing's happened with that case since. Lemon and former Deputy Andrew Cook were both indicted after the Sheriff's lead investigator turned a video over to state investigators. It shows Deputy Cook firing his taser into Gerald Johnson, then shocking him multiple times inside the jail. Cook said Johnson tried to attack the sheriff and he used his taser to stop the attack. The sheriff ordered Cook to continue shocking Johnson even as he lay on the jailhouse floor. Get up and get in the cell. <clears throat> Get up, get in the cell, Rev. To get in there. Pop two, pop two, pop two, pop two, pop two, pop two. There you go. Get in there. Get pop two, pop two. There you go. Go. Yeah. Jody, that tasing happened back in May of 2020, but it never became public until we showed up in Marlboro County more than a year later. Yep, and that is how it happened. And we weren't in Marlboro County, Brian, for this tasing case, you know, at first. We were digging into allegations the Marlboro County deputy probate judge at the time was involved in ransacking a dead man's home there. Hollis Slade's home security cameras recorded people going in and out of his house within hours of his death in January 2021. Some of those people eventually carried things out of it. All the while, Slade's dementia-ridden widow was inside the house. Slade's family accused the group of stealing thousands of dollars in cash and property. They eventually reported this to the sheriff's office. We showed up two years ago to investigate why the sheriff's office did nothing with the Slade case. After our final disrespects report, Lieutenant Trevor Murphy, the sheriff's lead investigator at the time, came to us. Murphy gave us a copy of the jailhouse video. The same video, he says, he worked anonymously to get someone, even news reporters, to do something about when the tasing happened in May of 2020. And nothing ever came of that. Nothing ever came of it. It was never looked into. The sources we reached out to never sought us out, never reached out to us, never followed up, never requested the video, never requested anything. Nothing. Who do you go to at this point? At that point, when you've reached out to people that are your outs, are your way out, and you're realizing we're telling these people stuff that's going on and they're not responding, we have no help. You're taught in school, something happens, you tell the teacher. We tried to tell the teacher and we didn't get the help we asked for. Trevor Murphy eventually decided to go public. He gave a copy of the video to SLED and a copy to us. The Attorney General's Office indicted the Sheriff and Deputy Andrew Cook a few weeks later. Both men pleaded not guilty and have waited on their day in court. 
ever since. Now, Jenny, we know the sheriff's going to go to trial in September, mm -hmm. but what about the deputy? Well, Brian, no idea. I have checked with the AG's office every month since this happened, asking for court dates and any new developments. The AG tells me they don't have any updates on the deputy's prosecution. The AG's office is also still looking into whether they'll file charges in the Hollis Slade estate theft investigation. In the 13 months since getting that case from SLED, the AG's office still has not decided what to do with that. All right, more to come, and you're going to stay on top of this for sure. We'll Absolutely. Have much more later. All right, Jody Bars, thanks for staying on top of it, Chief Investigator.